good morning or afternoon um if you've been watching it is 24 hours since my extractions and my immediate partials have gone into my mouth so i've been trying to post as much as possible um i will post a picture of 18 hours post because I had to wake up to get uh, my medicine. Even though I wasn't in pain uh, or anything, I wanted to make sure I took my medicine. So uh, I did take them out a few minutes ago. Um, I rinsed them off in some mouthwash and I did a salt water rinse of my mouth. And then I brushed my regular teeth um, that are still in my mouth. So, um, when I first left the dentist's office, they were fitting really tight. Um, as time went on, about, I would say 12 hours post, uh, they started to slip. You know, I've been icing, I have been um, eating cold stuff like ice cream, pudding, uh, that's all I've been doing. I've been icing 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. The the numbness is gone. I have no more numbness. Um, the swelling, you know, I uh, can't really tell. So I'm healing pretty fast. Uh, I did take pictures up. If you don't want to see it, I'm warning you now. I'll post a warning before I actually post the picture because weird seeing yourself with no teeth uh so graphic pictures coming up but i love my teeth in so i had a mind frame of even though i'm looking at it like this and they're not even healed up yet. They look great. Um, in my opinion, they look great. It looks like they're clotting. It looks like the um, they're clotting pretty quickly. And I don't think he put any stitches. I think he may have put one stitch. If I noticed, like on this side, there's one stitch. But she did say they're dissolvable. So um, they'll dissolve on their own. I don't have to worry about it. I don't even have an appointment to go back to the oral surgeon. So I do have to go back to my my dentist that made the actual denture on Monday. Today's Saturday, January 4th. So my appointment's on Monday, January the 6th. You know, I thought my kids went back to school and they have that day off. So we have an extra day off. I have an extra day of recovery, which is perfect, even though I don't even feel like I need it. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably get back to work before I put my teeth back in. I did put a little aura gel because it kind of hurts right here. So that's what, what sore spot. They'll probably shave that down tomorrow. The palette or the plate feels kind of thick. So I'm going to see if they can do something about that. And then it's not sitting in my teeth um, quite right. So I'm sure they'll make an adjustment. And when they do, they will snap right in nice and comfortably. So I'm excited. They look great so far. Um, I feel great. I know I haven't even reached day three and four, which they say is kind of the worst days. But the last time I had my back teeth pulled out a few months ago, when this same oral surgeon pulled out the back, I had no pain. I had no issues whatsoever. They even told me before I left, um, before he put me under, was that since they're pulling out the fronts, that it's a softer gum. So I shouldn't have any issues if I didn't have any issues with the back that he pulled out a few months ago. And I said, I didn't have any issues. I do expect him to call me today just to do a checkup. So um, Dr. Campbell, he's great. He will call me directly. 
he does his own calls. He doesn't have an assistant call to check on us. Um, so I, I should be hearing from him later on in the day, probably after 12, because it seems like he does all of his oral surgery before 12. He probably goes to lunch, comes back, does a little bit of phone call taking, and then he probably does his um, implants and stuff like that after, if he has any scheduled. I'm still getting used to the way I'm talking. Um, if you noticed in the video before I even went in, I did say that I hate the way that I talk. I hated it. I really hated the way that my tongue stuck out of my mouth when I talk. It does hit the top of my teeth. Um, so I'm getting used to the way that I'm talking. I'm getting used to the way that it's looking and I'm satisfied. I know it's a little crooked right now because like I said, it needs to be adjusted. So right there, uh, uh. when I first put them on, they look great, but of course, you know, the, the swelling is slowing down. So they're moving on their own and it's okay. They'll adjust it um, just fine. I already have my appointment scheduled. So I just have to deal with it for, until Monday. Uh, so my son, he's 10 years old. He said that um, I look younger. He was like, who are you? You're not my mom. I was like, um, <laughs> I know, right? I've been taking pictures all day and all night, if you can imagine. Updating on the um, Facebook pages on how I'm, go how I'm doing. Trying to make um, videos on how the progress is going. Because... Like I've said from the beginning, everybody is different. Everybody's situation is different. Um, I have been searching for somebody who got a front partial. I could not find anybody, a video, a, a forum, anything to where people explain how their front partial went. One thing I do notice and I don't like is the gum line. It looks weird, but maybe they can fix that for me because um, it just looks stupid. If I smile too big and I do smile, I, I guess I smile big. I did practice smiling uh, how I used to smile in high school, I want to say, because I used to cover my bottom teeth when I smiled. But uh, I can't smile too big because look at that. I hope they can fix it. So I just don't like that. Um, they're white though. They're whiter than my teeth. That's okay because I am going in for my debridements on the 16th and then I have a regular cleaning. So I have a deep cleaning, regular cleaning, and then I'm, I'm doing white whitening treatments. So my real teeth will match my dentures. And that's how I wanted it. I wanted it to be white. Uh, you can't really tell unless I'm really close up. And like if I don't smile too big. Anyways, you guys. Uh, I love it. I love it. And the adjustments I know are going to feel so good. Um, I purchased some benzo dent. Benzo dent, right? In the picture, it looks so big. This little thing, but I'm hoping it lasts um, and I don't have to even use it. Like I said, when I, I already took them out and what I did was just put a little bit of ore gel. I didn't even use this when sliding it back in um, because I wasn't having any pain anywhere except right here in the front. And um, it wasn't like pain. It was more like if I press there, it's a pressure point. So I'm calling it that sore spot. They've been explaining or I've been hearing 